An $18 million house in Asokoro, an affluent suburb in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. The furnishings inside are worth over $2 million, and it has a bulletproof gym. The government says it was bought with public money allegedly stolen by the former petroleum minister. It's part of the $10.3 billion worth of assets and cash recovered that had been stolen during the last government. We have been able to take on the, a lot of big shot that have not been that are uh, hitherto untouchable, like I said, both in the military, in the three arms of the military, and uh, uh, in the political class, and uh, uh, even in the areas of uh, prosecution, we've made tremendous progress because we recorded about 164 convictions in, in, in just one year. The government says most of the stolen money was kept at home in cash or in banks or spent on luxury travel, vehicles and residential properties like this one, not just in Abuja, but in other cities, including London and Dubai. We were shown some of the recovered jewellery and wristwatches. Anti-corruption agency workers seen here count public money found at the home of a former military chief. Dozens of residential and commercial properties suspected to have been bought with corrupt funds have also been sealed off. President Muhammadu Buhari was elected last year on the promise of making the fight against corruption his top priority. He blames the previous administration of former president Goodluck Jonathan for most of the looting. On Monday, Jonathan denied all allegations of corruption and said he did a good job successes. curbing it. But the former National Security Advisor Samo Dusuki has been charged and the former Petroleum Minister questioned for corruption. Despite the recoveries, anti-corruption activists say more needs to be done. A lot of banks in Nigeria, a lot of oil companies in Nigeria, a lot of construction companies in Nigeria, a lot of communication companies in Nigeria are conniving to siphon this money. And the anti-corruption agency has been accused of being partisan in how it's tackling graft. No, 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 not, 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 not my EFCC, not the EFCC of today. We are not politicized. If there is an allegation against anybody, we will go after them. Many Nigerians hope so. The scale of corruption has deprived millions of people of security, adequate health care, education and other public services. The government says it will put all the money recovered back into the Treasury for public use. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.